Kathleen, unexpected rebound in uh, the second quarter, but given the external headwinds, is this pace of growth sustainable? Right, we had a very uh, impressive number this morning. The rebound in private consumption was as expected with the economic reopening, but the external demand slowdown was definitely a concern that we confirmed here. And going on to the second half of this year, we think the slowdown in exports will be the issue that we will closely keep an eye on. What does it leave the Bank of Korea, uh, Kathleen, after uh, they went by uh, 50 basis points? So I think this morning's print actually gives the BOK further room to pursue their priority in policy to tame inflation and inflation expectations before worrying about growth. Um, we think the BOK has a further uh, commitment to tame inflation first before risking growth. And given this morning's strong print, uh, it can do so throughout the rest of this year before worried about growth slowdown, perhaps early next year and onward. Kathleen, this is Sherry joining the conversation. I understand that the Bank of Korea's number one enemy is inflation, bigger enemy mm -hmm. than growth at this point in time. But looking at this quarter's or second quarter's the GDP breakdown, it was really about the reopening impact, really having a positive mm -hmm. impact on private consumption that really supported this kind of growth story. And how resilient is it, though, because this pent of demand upon reopening could actually come back down as we see COVID cases surging once again in South Korea. You're right. When we see the details of this consumption rebound, we see the increase in semi-durables and services consumption. So it's clearly a pent-up demand for the reopening play. And we actually see it lasting through only the third quarter this year and by the fourth quarter and onward when the income conditions deteriorate with the higher inflation and higher rates environment, we see the consumption capacity actually uh, slowing down by the fourth quarter throughout next year. So we only see this uh, end of demand uh, effect uh, through the, the fall this year and actually dissipating from the end year through 2023. So actually, this uh, rebound is only a short lived um, for, for the next two quarters. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.